Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with another Empties, Regrets and Reviews for you. Um, as always I have 10 products for you and I'm going to tell you if I like them, love them and if I'd buy them again and all the rest of it. So we're going to jump straight in. Okay so the first product I have got is this. This is from Imperial Lava. Lava? I'm sure that's how they pronounce it. It is the Cosmic Unicorn. It is moons and sparkly unicorns. It is... Everything a six year old wants. I got this. I can't remember if this is in a birch box or a glossy box, but I got this. And do you know what? It does actually sound the back. Inject some fun into your daily shower routine. I really liked it. Do you know what? My daughter loved it too. Would I buy it again? Yes, because I can pick these up in my local supermarket when they're on offer for a pound. I miss their foam banana ones. You know the foam bananas you got sweets you got as a kid and you ate them, they were huge. Uh, they do want the smells just like that and they're amazing and I love them and yes I'd buy it again. In fact, quickly to prove a point, there's the other one. Yeah, I know. I don't know if it was that one actually I got in the, it's one of them I got, yeah whatever. <laughs> it was one of them that I got in the glossy box. I don't know which one it was but hey ho. Okay. So, my Cat Kidston Christmas Advent Calendar. I loved it. I thought it was the best thing in the world. Um, I got these little soaps. This was the Townhouse Scented. I hate the smell. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We're just going to get rid of that. I hate the smell. I loved it. I wouldn't go out my way to purchase it just because the nearest Cat Kidston to me is in the middle of my town centre. And... <sighs> As much as I love Kathy and products, I just pick up a soap from my local supermarket. It's not, it's not something I'd go out my way to buy. But I did love it, and if I got it again, I would love it just the same. Going down the Kathy Kissen route, ha ha ha, hand cream. Oh my god, love hand cream. Uh, once again, probably wouldn't go out my way to purchase it as I just pick up one from my local supermarket. It's easy, it's convenient, and I have. A whole tub full of hand creams. Now then, something I got in my birch box. I think this was the very first birch box I ever got. It was the real remover. Uh, this is to strip down waterproof eye makeup um, and whatever else. It looks like this. I finally used it all I, because I put it in my bathroom cabinet. And the rookie mistake was there is I usually take my makeup off in the bedroom. So I usually got some form of wipe or pad or whatever else. And yeah missed it completely so i finally used it i enjoyed it i would not purchase it i think a normal face wash is adequate enough i guess going down the benefit route we might as well carry on i have a gogo -Go tint sample it looks like this it is not used it is used but it's not empty <laughs> I think I'm past the stage in my life of tinting my lips and my cheeks. I feel like the the cheeks is really hard to achieve because you get blobs. I'm just past it. I'm sorry. So it's gone. I'm getting rid. I'm getting rid. I also have this Claire Adhesive uh, Waterproof Whatever It Is Lash Adhesive. I... I've had this for ages and I've decided to bid it under this reason. I have eyelashes in all the time. I've gone quite short and quite fluffy this time so they look more real. Um, but I use better glues. I use strong glues to keep them in. I don't use stick on lash strips. I tried eyelash strips once the other day for the first time ever and the sheer pain of them digging into the corners of my eyes. My eyes are quite rounded nightmare whatever but still yes nightmare so it's finally going the fight is finally gone and on the eyelash roots i found some new eyelashes <laughs> that i am in love with okay these are the either i then the let's try that again these are the i envy express lash extensions these are the fluffy volumes the individual lashes you get 56 lashes in the jar and i got the length of 10 mil next time obviously i've already got some next time i definitely think i will go back and get at least the 12 mil um i love them they look like this and i don't know if 
Then I'm gonna zoom, I'm gonna turn the lights up a little bit more. Ooh, now I lock my camera off. Can you see, like, they're only short, but they're, oh, I just, I love them. They're just, they're just so nice. And they are proper spread. I only have about 12 lashes on each eye. I may add more um, around the corners to darken it, but I love them. I am me. I actually purchased these off eBay uh, for about four pounds, I believe. And I'm looking at going, I actually found the website for them and I'm looking at me buying an eyelash kit as a little treat for myself. <laughs> we never know, we never know. I'm always up for learning new things, I love it. Uh, Sephora cleanser here it is bought this when i was in paris the only sephora i've ever been in and that was pretty damn decent let me tell you yes i would purchase it again if i got into a sephora i don't think there is one in england yet so yeah i'm getting rid of a beauty sponge today now don't judge because i've not washed it this one i had it in i believe my christmas video i <sighs> I'm not going to say I loved it because I didn't. Uh, the person that brought it me, uh, she lives in Spain and she bought me these sponges and she was raving about how good hers were. And I'm like, mine are a little bit hard. <laughs> she was like, what do you mean they're a little bit hard? I'm like, they're hard. So I brought it down and uh, even she couldn't get on with it. There's just, you know when you press your sponge and it like spreads and whatever it's just hard and no matter how much you wet it it doesn't expand so um yeah i'm a little bit disappointed but it's okay i don't mind i like to try new and different products and the last thing that i have in my empties regrets and reviews is another mac brow <laughs> fluid line brow gel cream in the shade dirty blonde there is a little bit left in it, but it is dried out that much. I love Max Brow Gel Cream. I need to try some others, but I think I'm just like set with how good it is. This won't be going in the bin, by the way. This will be going back into my Back to Mac products, uh, where you get a free lipstick if you take six items back. Now, I used to draw on my eyebrows, fill them in with a bit of powder and leave them. Yes, I have block eyebrows as they are called. I've never quite mastered the um, the bit where you make it look, yeah, whatever. Never mastered it. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Um, I'm going back maybe to have my eyebrows done again soon, uh, see how much money I can save. And yeah, I've always stuck with that. Once I used to draw my eyebrows and fill them in with powder for the day and then when I went out I'd use that MAC uh, brow gel and I loved it so much and I sat there one day I'm like why the hell am I not just using this in my everyday not everything has to be saved for best so I love them <laughs> considering I had no eyebrows when I first started YouTube uh, they just had like sticks but anyway I love them and I'm so happy with my eyebrows at the minute. Um, maybe when I go and get them redone, because obviously I had mine tattooed, um, I might have a better shape put in this time, because I didn't really have a shape last time. And just throughout the years of having them tattooed, I have got better shape. That's all I'm saying. Right, so I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've made it this far and you haven't already, please click that subscribe button one will appear just there we can click that big red box just down below it's entirely up to you i do appreciate it <laughs> that's so cheesy i know please click over here to check out one of my latest videos click down here to see a video that youtube has selected for you and don't forget to leave me a comment i do try to answer all my comments uh yeah leave me a comment with like what's your like things that you constantly get through that if you was to do an empty regrets and reviews what things always end up in there please let me know i'd like to thank you for watching take care i'll see you in a few days with another video and